Been a while, hasn't it? Never thought it would come to this, did we? I see you, you murderer. for knocking down my blocks in kindergarten. Please just lie down.
Good. We're ready for my next visit back here. That's Mrs. Marley. She used to live down the road. I wonder if she's got anything useful. Oh, great. Now I've got a rock. Before we begin, please listen to a personal message for our prudent friend. The fox is in the hen house. The fox is in the hen house. Who's our prudent friend?
are the Hollow Men. We are the Stuff. What happened to the gardens? Lovely day for it. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. It was working just a minute ago, but the door is broken again. You'll have to wait until it's up again. Do you ever let anybody in? Oh, yes. There's someone in there now. And in the past month? Well, in the past month. Ah! There's a chap in there right now. You don't really want anyone back from the Garden District, do you? Hell, my wastrel friend. No one goes off their joy can actually take joy. I mean, would you? Everybody feels better if that door stays broken. You, us, everybody. Well, Constable Wright, I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Central? Ever seen one of these? Oh, bugger me. You're not some sort of undercover bridge inspector. This device detects structural irregularities using shortwave radar. But I don't think it will show me the real problem. Will it, Constable Wright? Look, sir, you can fix that door, but them wastrels still ain't gonna take that joy. It makes them see eyes everywhere. That's not for you to decide, is it? No, sir. The, the, the maintenance hatch is that way, sir. I, I, I'd be grateful if you forgot this conversation ever, ever happened. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Oh, bugger. If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? There is another way, though, isn't there? Please take a number and sit down. There's nobody else here. Please take a number and sit down. Survey number two. Welcome to the Rehabilitation Centre. Actually, I'm just a sort of undercover bridge inspector from Central. See this device? Uh, it detects structural... It... Then you should have no trouble passing the test, should you? Please head through the door there and begin your rehabilitation. Deposit your personal belongings into this box, retaining only your clothes. Please continue to the decontamination room. Please discard your clothes. Don't worry, you will be provided with new, proper clothes after decontamination. If I was Percy, I'd just go promenading about, wondering why everyone was staring. He never did quite grasp what's so important about wearing clothes. Wine, still and wine. Mm -hmm. God who made the mighty, make the mighty yet. God who made the mighty. Congratulations!
Congratulations, you have been decontaminated. Please proceed to the next room and obtain fresh, new, proper, clean clothes. I hope she's not watching and judging. Don't you look wonderful? Please proceed to the next room. In case there is any residual odour of the Garden District on you, please enjoy this refreshing scent of country flowers. Is that licorice? Why licorice? Get ready for the most important moment in your rehabilitation. Please take your favourite flavour of joy. Vanilla, chocolate or strawberry. Oh, I must insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without taking your joy, sir. Oh, damn it! They were serious about taking my joy, weren't they? Lovely weather. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. Happiness is a choice. Please head into the theater and take a seat. Excellent. Sit tight and enjoy the show. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well. It's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village. So don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Eh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax and open the Hamlin or Quran. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. Well, <laughs> or... I don't know. Watch Jack Worthing on television. I, he's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. Isn't Uncle Jack wonderful? Now, please proceed to the third floor, where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. Just a friendly reminder, Uncle Jack don't mention it. 
But a word to the wise, proper decent people don't like people what is running, jumping, crouching, spying, sneaking, breaking or entering. Such like behaviours is what we associate with downers. Avoid them and we shan't have disagreements.
Well, that's a relief. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time to play Obehave, the game where you show that you're ready to come back to Hamlin Village and behave like a proper, decent citizen. What the hell? I passed the test. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not going to do this again. How do I get out of here? Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our wonderful son or daughter? If you want to fit in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet, like how you do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. C. The eyes! The eyes! May I express my delight that you passed the examination, sir? We've not had as many as we'd hoped, sir. Not as many at all. And yet, they say the unexamined life is not worth living. Well, sir, welcome back. Oh, and in case your rustication has been of long duration, please bear in mind there is now a nocturnal curfew. Best be indoors after nightfall, sir. Day for it. Wonderful! Oh, I can't remember the All last right. time I'm someone came back. Welcome back to civilization. Foggy Jack got another one. Last night. There you are. Lovely day. So from here, I've got to get to St. George's home and then into the parade. Except that I need a letter of transit to get into the parade. Like the one I left on my desk in the parade. How do I get a new one? Wait. The old government printing office was on Maiden Home. Maybe I can break in and steal some blanks. Countrymen, lend me your ears! Don't you see that our world has gone mad? We're all in the same let's pretend game. We call a rat a cat. And we pretend our shopkeepers are coming back from holiday. And we don't talk about the most important event in our lives. And that is the gates on the bridges. Do you remember when they went back up? I don't. None of us do. But there haven't always been gates, have there? We took down the German gates at the victory. I know, because I walked from eel pie to apple home then. And weren't my feet sore, eh? Get out of our park! This is no place for free speech! When did we put them back up? I can't remember, but I'll tell you why we did. It's because the rich are robbing us. That's right! We're thin, because the parade is fat. Shut up, you sick downer bastard! Black dog, wet blanket! They're eating our bread! They're eating our butter! And they've locked us out so we won't see! That's why you need a letter of transit! You're trying to bring us down, you rotten downer! 
wet blanket? Well, it's time to tear down those gates. Tear down these fences. We'll have none of that anarcho-syndicalist trash, thank you. He's actually <laughs> telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Part of it. Don't you're only oppressing yourselves. No. That's what you get for telling the truth around here, poor sod. You? You listened? You're obviously a man of great wisdom and, and perspicacity. They never listen, you know. If they just listen, I know they'd come around. Would you mind terribly posting a few of these? I'm sort of a bit soggy at the moment. Yeah, we shouldn't be seen together. Come back this evening. I'll give my speech. You make them stay and listen. Together, we can change the world. Part of it anyway. We're life for noise, pop a joy. I don't think he's terribly popular. I'd better be discreet about posting these. What on earth are you doing putting that lunatic's posters up here? Odd. Why are there peepers patrolling the park? I should snoop around a bit. saw me hide. I bet I could stay here forever. At least until I starved to death. You might want to see a doctor, sir. I don't see what all the fuss is about. Oh, 
Enough of that then. Didn't you? Wasn't you a time to tea? 